So the work in DACA that we're doing, it's uh, working with uh, vacuum tankers. So previously, DACA, well, at the moment, DACA is about 20% sewered, um, and the remainder, so a, a city of about 18 million, um, and the remainder of the city has no access to sewered sanitation, and so uh, the septic tanks and pits. Now, uh, what we've been doing is trying to introduce uh, vacuum tankers. Uh, they Previously, they haven't been present in the city, so everything is done by manual emptying. Um, so we've been working with uh, the DACA WASA, which is the water utility and city corporations, to be able to introduce a vacuum tanker system that is licensed in a, uh, a kind of public-private partnership um, method. So the tankers are owned by the city corporation and are um, leased out to uh, private operators. So we've been working to introduce that to work both with the water utility, as I say, Dakawasa, and now with the city authorities, so that they are um, open to that kind of um, that method of operation. They, uh, we have found that they've had vacuum tankers, but haven't wanted to reorganise their workforce and reorganise their operating methods in order to run them themselves. Um, and so that we're trying to mobilize that. Before introducing this service, so uh, you know the traditional pit MTR, so what we call uh, sweepers, so they uh, provide you know, pit emptying service manually uh, using the bucket or something like that. And after that, uh, NGO, local NGO, uh, DSK, um, so they actually introduce um, uh, mechanical emptying service using vacuum tanker, uh, not commercial basis, uh, something you can call it a charity uh, basis actually. So after that, uh, so the uh, Dhaka Washa Water Supply and Sewer is authority. So they are the utility of Ministry of uh, Local Government uh, Division. So they received two vacuum tanker from UNICEF. And then, uh, but uh, you know, uh, the Dhaka Water Supply and Sewer is authority. Actually, they uh, are responsible for providing water supply to the city dollars. And as well, they have also network-based sewer system in 20%, almost 20% uh, of households and institutions. But rest 80% depends on on-site sanitation. But clear was not, uh, you know, uh, clear, uh, it was not clear the mandate. That's why, so Diwasha didn't provide. So after that, so they seek our support to uh, to make the operationalize of the two vacuum tanker what they received from UNICEF and we provided you know all sort of uh, technical backstopping support to Dhaka Water Supply and CRS Authority and now uh, under the uh, PPP arrangement we are now uh, providing you know uh, uh, pickle sludge uh, emptying and transporting service uh, uh, in Dhaka. started in 2015 um, and we've only we've been working with um, this uh, a single entrepreneur in the city so we're we're only really scratching the surface in DACA at the moment you know two vacuum tankers in a city of you know 16 to 18 million is is tiny compared tiny proportion however within five months of the um, entrepreneur starting um, they were already uh, in profit on an OPEX basis. So they're able to operate and actually be a visible proof of being able to show the service worked. We had quite a lot of difficulty at the start finding a suitable entrepreneur who was willing to take on um, a job in a new sector that they, they hadn't visibility of. Now that's really important when we've, um, so uh, a year ago now, so 12 months ago, we started also working in Chittagong. So we started trying to see if the model worked elsewhere and that's been running for a year. Interestingly in Chittagong um, we had a significantly higher number of entrepreneurs who were interested in seeing the work, some of them from DACA as well, so they'd seen it could work well. Mm. We're now beginning to look at where we can um, mobilize more entrepreneurs, mobilize more tankers and that's we're seeing in the next three to four years. Um, we're going to be looking at both uh, Dhaka and Chittagong and two other cities as well, Rangpur and Barashal. Okay. So we're beginning to work in other cities as well as ramping up the size of what we're doing in Dhaka. But bearing in mind that 
what we've managed is just the transportation, so the um, collection, transportation, and safe disposal. But there are, of course, other items along the sanitation chain that we still need to work on. Right. Um, and we're still working with the city corporation. But key to that has been um, ensuring that the mandate and the legislation is in place and correct. So we've been working on that in the process as well. And that's really beginning to move things along. OK, OK. Habib, so, do you have anything mm. to add? Yeah. So actually, in the span of last three years, so uh, this is a good thing for us that we have uh, developed a efficient service delivery model uh, under the PPP arrangement, what we call actually SWIFT, it's a brand name. And uh, this is actually the uh, uh, successful model, and that is uh, widely accepted by the government bodies, private sector, and the customers uh, as well. And uh, recently, in the last uh, year, 2017, we have replicated this model in Chitang and Rangpur as well, you know. And uh, but what we need to actually uh, get to accomplish that is uh, the sellable in product and the make market for it. So this is the challenge now.